Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be talking about how to take notes effectively. Without much ado, let's start. Audio jump. question which arises here is why to take notes right many people have this question they don't even make notes the thing here is you have huge books or huge textbooks and all the day before exam you can't sit and flip through those pages and read the whole book. so you make beforehand you make few notes bullet points and all those things so that the day before exam or when it takes you very least amount of time to flip through those notes and you will be done with the subject that is the whole concept of note taking. Now we know why to make notes, right? Let's understand the things which we need to make notes. Now we know why to make notes, what things do we need, so let's start with the basic and simple steps to do notes. Step number one, use a separate notebook for a different subject. It's a very important part because first thing it will be very easy for you to refer. Whenever you are sitting to study a subject, you don't have to go and search through pages like which subject has which topic, no. And there will be no clutter in that. That is the best reason why you should make notes. And third thing is it becomes very easy for you to study when you have such separate notebook for a separate subject. Step two, take your textbook or the topic which you are reading, don't go and read complete topic and then sit and make notes. No, that is not the way you make notes. Notes is something that you do simultaneously when you are reading. Like whenever you read to understand which part of this topic or which part of this paragraph is an important point, right? If you are a beginner, it might take for you two readings, but if you usually make notes, it gets easy for you because whenever you read a paragraph, you understand which part of it is important. So read the paragraph, simultaneously understand which are the important parts of that uh, paragraph and then make notes side by side as you are reading the paragraphs. Now the third thing is headings. Whenever the, you are studying a particular chapter or anything, there will be a minimum headings. So make sure you write these headings in a separate way. Like you can underline those headings, you can write them in capitals or you can change the color of pen which you are taking for the heading. Like whenever you open your notes, you have the main chapter heading, then you have the subheadings there itself. So whichever part you want to read, you can directly go and read that part. You don't have to search where that part it doesn't has to be pretty. Note taking is kind of an art. It doesn't has to be fancy and everything. It just has to be good and clear for you to understand when you read it. That is all. The fourth step is whenever you're making notes, make sure you make them into bullet points. Don't write in paragraphs because our brain is wired in such a way when we read huge, huge paragraphs, it becomes difficult for us to retain things. But when you break down those paragraphs and make it into bullet points, it becomes easier because smaller sentences are easy to retain than a paragraph. So make your notes into points. Use different markings for different kind of points. But make sure your notes should be more simple. Now the fifth is, there will be some parts in the chapter which are very very important like the key dates, key topics or key key words into the points. Such thing you can use a highlighter and you can highlight only the keywords. You don't have to highlight the whole sentences. So make sure you highlight the keywords. So whenever you flip through points, you your eyes falls on those keywords and it registers in your mind that that point is very very important 
Now the sixth point is now you are revising or rereading the notes. There comes a time where you feel there is some extra point which need to be added. In that case, post it or sticky notes are the best. Those extra points can be written in the stick notes and can be added only the important points. And you can make use of the sticky notes and post its. These are very helpful. Let's take a quick review of all the steps. Take a different book for a different subject. Read and make notes simultaneously. Step three. Headings and subheadings, make sure you write it differently so that it stands, uh, stands out. Step 4 is to make bullet points instead of paragraphs. Step 5 is to highlight keywords. Step 6 is to reread and make a different points. Someone came. about note taking i hope this video was very useful for you if you like the video or if you found this video helpful make sure you comment in the comment box and let me know thank you for watching the video make sure you subscribe like and share if you're new to this channel this channel easy busy is all about medical lectures health tips studying ways to study tips to study and all of such content Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a nice day. I'll be back with another blast next week. Audio Jungle